Hi, this is a short demonstration of the new functionalities that I'm going to develop on the value relation widget. Uh, okay, here we have a couple of layers that we can use for this demonstration. So basically we have the provinces in Italy, which is the colored layers with a thick uh, layout here. And we have a layer of public administration. There are roughly 8,000 public administrations, small villages and so on in Italy. So this is a quite a large uh, shape file containing all the geometries and information about those small public administrations. Then we have our destination layers. They are just test layers, points layers with uh, a couple of rows and columns uh, containing the information coming from the other layers. So we, let's see how this is configured. We have these two fields. One is a foreign key, uh, which is configured in the widgets as a value relation. It takes the values from the provinces. It shows the, the text description. So the name of the province and it takes the uh, integer um, index of the province, which is uh, called pro field. Uh, then we have this uh, ISTAT field, uh, which actually contains one of the new filters that are available with this uh, new development. Let's have a look, a closer look at this, at this filter. Uh, so basically this uh, says, tells to the filtering engine that we want to see only uh, the records uh, for which uh, code province uh, equals to the current form field values of the field foreign key prov. So this is completely new, it wasn't available in, uh, well, it was available in 2.x with a plugin which I wrote, it was called value relation, uh, form aware value relation. And now what I did was, so what I'm trying to do is to uh, integrate this functionality into core directly. And so we have this filter. Let's see how it works. So we want to add a new point here. Let's go somewhere, make the layer editable and click on the add point. And what we have here is uh, the list of the provinces. You can see them here. If we choose one of those, what we have here in the second field is just um, the public administration, uh, which are in that province. So if I'm, I'm going to change the province again, and you will see that the list dynamically get updated, containing only the records which are relevant. So this is what you can do here. You can drill down, you can cascade, so you can configure the fields in a way that if you select one value in a field, the values available in the other fields gets automatically recalculated and updated. This wasn't, uh, pos isn't possible currently in, Q in QGIS using the value relation widget. But you can do more. So this is a different test, the same layer with a different filter. And what we have here is a second function, which I uh, wrote and this current form geometry. So uh, what we can uh, access for this kind of filters is the geometry of the point currently being edited or added. So we can build a filter and get all the geometry, all the records from the related table that uh, satisfy this filter. In this case, we are, we are building a buffer around the point that we are editing or, uh, or adding and we are, want to see only the fields from the related table uh, in which, for which the geometry is contained in a buffer built around the point. So uh, a lot of words, it's better to see how it works in action. And here we go. So we click on a, on a point and we uh, have a buffer of, I think it's 10 kilometers. Uh, we click somewhere here and we should see the, the list of the uh, public administration in, in the buffer. So first the province, so the province is, uh, we also have a filter in the province and we just say, uh, we'll see the province in the point, in which the point um, is. So we have, we have the single choice, but here we have a list of the uh, public administrations uh, which are in the buffer built around the point. So it allows us to choose one of those because maybe we want to assign uh, a dealer or an agent or whatever to one of the surrounding 
uh, public administration. So I think this is just for demonstration purposes, but I hope you can get an idea of how this works. So we basically uh, are permitting to build, uh, to filter dynamically um, based on the values which are available in the form and on the current geometry that we are going to edit. Thanks for watching.